In this video, I'm going to show you separating drums in a loop in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with a drum loop and a music loop. Let's see what it sounds like now. Let's hear it without the music loop. And as much as I love working with drum loops, there is a limitation. We can't really process each drum separately when it's all on one track as a loop. But luckily, there is a workaround. We could split the drum loop by each transient and put them on different tracks. So let's do that. I'm going to start off with the snare. I'll select the track, right click, and duplicate it. Then I'm going to delete the audio on the track, double click, and delete. And let's rename this track Snare. Then I want to go to the Preferences, Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac, under Media Item Defaults, and change this option right here to 2 milliseconds, which will create a fade in and a fade out when we cut and paste our items. Then I'm going to zoom in to our first snare, right there. I'm going to raise or edit, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, right click, drag, and create. A razor edit and drag this down to this track. I'd also like to turn on the locking feature, right click, which is going to prevent left right movement so we won't put our audio out of time when we move it. So if I drag this down to this track, I can't move it left or right. It's locked. Zoom back out and let's find the next snare. Right here, razor edit it, drag it down here. And this one right here. Drag it down. Now we should have our snares separated. Let's do the same thing for the kick. Duplicate this track. Let's delete the audio on it. We'll name it kick. And do the same thing with the kick. Zoom in, razor edit the kick, drag it down here. Do the same with this one, this one, this one, this one, and these two over here. So now we have the kick and snare separated from the loop. Let's rename this one hi-hat as it's mostly hi-hat. Drag it down here. And now we could treat each one of these tracks separately. Like for the hi-hat, let's bring up the top end with an EQ. Let's filter out the lows with a high-pass filter. And hear that in the track. Now for the snare, let's compress it. And EQ it. Bring up the top end. And some lows, make it sound bigger. And to make it sound more full, let's add a sample to it. So we duplicate the snare track, double click this one, go to the view menu, Media Explorer, let's find a snare sample. Go to my favorites, choose this one, right click it, go to insert in selected media items and choose to replace the media source. Which puts the sample right here. Let's make it a bit bigger so it doesn't cut off at the end. Let's get rid of 
the fade in and fade out on the sample. Remove fade in and out. And let's line up each sample as they tend to be at a time. Drag the snare around, make sure it lines up with the loop and do that with each sample. Let's hear it back. It sounds more punchy. Let's do the same thing with the kick. Select it, duplicate the track, select all the items on the track by double clicking, go to the Media Explorer, and let's find a kick sample. Go to my favorites, let's try this one. Right click, insert into selected media items, and replace the media source. And again, we'll drag it out so it doesn't cut off at the end. Remove the fade in and fade out and line up each sample so they stay in phase with the loop. And for this one, we'll duplicate it and line it up with this hit. Let's hear that in the mix. Here's the kick. And we could also add an EQ to the whoop kick. Let's bring up the low end. and the upper mid-range. Let's blend that with the sample. I think that sounds a lot better. Let's hear it with the musical whoop. But first, let's go back to what it sounded like in the beginning, before. And now after the changes we made. I think that sounds a lot better and it gives us a lot more control. So that's pretty much it. That's separating drums in a loop in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.